rant about global warming theory. Yes, now I'm going to uh, create for you a little sort of structure, an edifice, uh, to represent global warming theory. I hope that's all right. Now at the top we're going to have this big circle and I'm going to put GWT on this uh, circle because this is the circle that represents global warming theory. And this is the idea, I'm sure you're quite familiar with it, uh, is that uh, increases in man-made carbon dioxide emissions are causing the earth to heat up. You knew about that, didn't you? Yes, of course you did. You can't possibly uh, open the newspaper, listen to the radio, uh, switch on your television, uh, go on the internet or even have a conversation in the pub without hearing all about it. Now then, before we start building our edifice to support it, uh, let's imagine that we need a firm ground to base this on. Yes, and uh, let's, let's put some little bits of grass there, and little, little rocks, and uh, because this is representing something solid. Yes, this is the firm bedrock. This is science. Okay, so what we want is something uh, based on science that supports global warming theory. Well, first we're going to need some pillars of evidence, aren't we? Okay, right. Well, I'm going to uh, concern myself just with two pillars of evidence. Now, there's a, an awful lot that can be said about these pillars of evidence, uh, but I'm not going to say them. Instead, I'm just going to concentrate on the simple question of does the pillar exist or not? And uh, the first of these two pillars uh, I'm going to label with CO2 and a little plus sign there. And um, what that means is this is the, the, the notion that mankind's carbon dioxide emissions have indeed been increasing. So, have they? Well, I think the answer is yes, they have. People have gone out, they've taken measurements, they've done research, they've looked at the number of cars in the world, looked at the number of oil refineries, power plants, uh, they've taken measurements of carbon dioxide concentrations in the air and um, uh, they looked at um, ice core samples of uh, carbon dioxide concentrations in the past and so forth, and they found out that, yep, it does seem that mankind really has been putting more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. So there we go. Um, this pillar exists. It's a scientific fact. There's actual data there and everything. Good. Now let's look at the other pillar. Uh, the other pillar is, is the world actually heating up? Um, well, this one's a little bit more controversial, but broadly speaking, this pillar does exist. You know, data has been collected, people have gone out there, taken measurements, and kept records and that sort of thing, and yes, there is evidence backing up that uh, the world is getting hotter. So, uh, all we need now is something to link these two, because as you see, at the moment, these, these two pillars don't actually hold up the theory, do they? No, no, what we need is a lintel across the top. There we go, there's the lintel. This represents the notion that the one pillar, the increase in carbon dioxide by mankind, is causing the other. So, does this lintel actually exist? Is it, is it made up of scientific facts and data and so forth? Um, does it exist? What's the evidence for it? You don't know, do you? I mean, you may be thinking, oh, well, there is evidence for it. Oh, absolutely, yes, there's evidence for it. Oh, I mean, there must be, mustn't there? I mean, everyone's talking about global warming theory and how, how it's, you know, it's supported by, by these, you know, these pillars of evidence and so forth. So. Um, but without this link, can you see that there, there is no support for global warming theory? Um, it could be that uh, something else entirely is causing uh, the, the Earth to heat up. Um, what, the, what actually is the evidence? Um, isn't it bizarre that you don't know? Isn't it bizarre that I don't know? I've been looking for it. I've been looking for it quite hard for years. Um, the Stern report uh, opens with a statement uh, saying that the evidence uh, for this is now is overwhelming. And then it goes on to neglect to mention what it is. But just, just trust us, it's overwhelming. So there. Um, another way of trying to end the argument is by saying scientists are now agreed. Mm -hmm. Why not just present the evidence? Wouldn't, wouldn't that be better? Given that you, you can't escape uh, media coverage of the two pillars, don't you think someone would have mentioned the lintel? Don't you think you would know? Don't you think it would be actually, it would be a strong contender, wouldn't it, for the, the single most well-publicised scientific fact of all time ever, wouldn't it? I mean, Friends of the Earth would be yelling this evidence from the rooftops. Why wouldn't they? They'd be insane not to. If there's actual evidence for the existence of the lintel, then you would have heard about it by now, wouldn't you? The IPCC was set up specifically to find evidence for this lintel. That was its raison d'etre, and it had 30 years of access to the world's best data and a budget of squillions, and it's come up with 
Well, the thing that's, that it's letting on, it doesn't actually mention any evidence for the lintel, but you, you'd think it would, wouldn't mm. you? Uh, I picked up a book uh, recently called The Rough Guide to Climate Change, and I thought, I'll just, I'll just have a quick look in this to see if there's anything in this book. It was quite a thick book um, uh, for the lintel. And, you know, in the entire book, it, uh, there was one paragraph on the lintel, and it didn't actually present any evidence it was largely waffle and it just sort of re reassured the reader that don't worry yes there really is where is the scientist whose science has produced the evidence for the lintel why isn't he world famous this is the guy who could save the planet why hasn't he been on telly scientists uh, you ask about this and i've asked quite a lot they tend to say oh well there's nothing in my science uh, which which uh, backs up the existence of the lintel but um, uh, you know that there must be some evidence for it. I mean, you know, there's all this fuss. There's got to be some, right? There has to be. Yeah. But not, not in my science. So in which science then? What scientist has found evidence for the lintel? Why isn't he famous and why isn't he told anyone?